Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. We're back with another part of our Top 10 Dumbest Superheroes list, and we've got some real gems on this one. So let's bring on the stupidity. And at number 10, we've got Maggot. Well, that's an appealing name. So Maggot was a part of the X-Men for a while, because of his ability to transform his body and give himself superhuman strength and endurance. But in order to pull that off, he had to release two large parasitic worms from his stomach to eat things. Because energy. But it would take him a bit of time for his worms to consume his food, which was basically anything. And once the food hit his digestive system, he'd be good to go. Many people consider Maggot to be one of the stranger X Men to ever join the team. And I mean, when you look like that, I can see why. Also, maggots, ew. And at number nine, we've got Razorback. Upon first look, Razorback is a crazy man wearing a hog's head, which would kind of seem difficult in terms of like neck mobility and like peripheral vision. Razorback is a character from the Marvel Universe named Buford Hollis, a muscular truck driver searching for his younger sister, Bobby Sue, when she ran off to join a religious cult. Oh, don't you just love where this is going? So, turns out the cult was led by Hatemonger, who made one of our other lists about top 10 villains that you didn't know existed, is actually Hitler in disguise. The disguise being a purple KKK outfit. Yep. He eventually saves his sister, but because of Spider-Man's involvement. Because Razorback doesn't actually have any powers. He's just a really muscular dude who's good at fighting and wears a dead hog on his head. Up next at number 8, we've got Bullet Man. Bullet Man was a character created by Fawcett Comics in 1939 that was later leased out to DC Comics. Here we have a dude with a bullet on his head. It actually, it's a gravity regulator helmet, which allowed him to deflect bullets. Jim Barr was the son of a police officer who was murdered on the job. So Jim decided it was his responsibility to fight crime. When he tried to start a career as a policeman, he was rejected because he physically wasn't up to it. But he did score a job in ballistics, and used his skills in chemistry to develop powers and increase his muscle and brain mass. And he creates a potion called the Crime Cure that helps him fight crime, but really only helps him to be inspired to make his bullet hat. What makes him super Dumb though is that he created a second helmet for his girlfriend, because you know, couples like doing sh together. She took the name Bullet Girl and then was run over by a Nazi tank, but that's cool because her helmet was super strong and she was only knocked out, so you know, it's fine. Up next at number seven is Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose. Sorry, Tarot? Not a walking pair of tits? Because I'm Pretty sure this character is just a walking pair of tits. Seriously, look at her. So Tara is a warrior witch and her comic, published by Broadsword Comics, follows her witchy adventures where she uses supernatural power and encounters a bunch of Wiccan gods. But don't worry guys, there's a ton of nudity, so there's something for everyone in this one. She did have 61 issues though, and I'm talking comics, not like issues issues. And the writers did pull a lot of material from interviews with actual Wiccans, so at least that's kind of neat, but just... Yeah, a little much. Up next at number 6 is Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts is a dude whose name is Jack Hart, who first appeared in Marvel's Deadly Hands of Kung Fu 22, and wears a suit to contain his powers that just so happens to resemble the Jack of Hearts playing card. Aside from his lack of control over his abilities, there's nothing that makes Jack particularly interesting, minus being a supporting character in other heroes' storylines. He once helped Iron Man fight some Soviet super soldiers on the moon, and that's pretty cool, right? Well, guess not, because he ended up committing suicide because his suit couldn't contain his power anymore. He exploded himself in space, taking a child murderer with him, which is nice. But the explosion only blew up his suit and left his naked body to drift around into space. Yeah. At number 5 we've got Torpedo. Not to be mistaken with the Spanish comic series of the same name, Torpedo was a Marvel hero who first appeared in Daredevil 59 back in 1969. So why is Torpedo so dumb? Well, before he was a superhero, he was an insurance salesman. And I guess fighting crime didn't stop him from giving up a life of sales because he would often fly around while shouting out insurance information. He also never shuts up. To the point where it's actually detrimental to his crime fighting, as his enemies don't ever really have to sneak up on him. Up next we've got Sisak Man. AKA Gecko Man. So we touched on this hero in another one of our lists, but Gecko Man is too good to pass up on this one. So Gecko Man is a dollar store version of Spider Man and is the product of a Malaysian film that consists of 40% CGI. Actually, it's like all CGI. He drinks coffee that's been infected by a gecko with a virus, and then he gains gecko esque abilities and starts eating bugs. He also lives in a city called Metropolis. Wonder why that sounds familiar. Next up, we've got the Red Bee. Hey, what's a good way to defeat your foes? Give them an allergic reaction. 
infection, or at least a pretty painful bee sting. Meet Red Bee. He's a golden age hero from DC that would use his trained bees and stinger gun to fight Nazis and gangsters. So yeah, of course he appeared in 1940. He then disappeared for a while, and it was revealed that he was killed by a Nazi supervillain named Baron Blitzkrieg. The character is revived later on in the DC universe via Jenna Rayleigh, who takes on the mantle. At number two, we've got Ambush Bug. So Ambush Bug is actually pretty cool, despite his dumb alias. Ambush Bug was originally a villain until he was like, screw that, and then joined the side of good. First appearing in DC Comics Presents in December 1982, Ambush Bug was supposed to be an intentionally humorous character. Dressed as an insect, Ambush Bug had hollow antennae that carried miniature robot bugs that gave him the ability to teleport. After murdering a district attorney and just generally annoying Superman, he decides he would rather be Superman's friend instead, which pissed off the Man of Steel even more. Somewhere in this process, his suit becomes permanently meshed with his body. While the character is rarely used seriously or often by DC, he did have a six issue limited run called Ambush Bug Year None, where DC editor Dan DiDio is crushed by Ambush Bug. And then the comic gets super meta and it starts to imply that DiDio and Ambush are the same person. Many think this is a critique of how DC was running the company at the time. So if you guys watched our first part of this list, you'll know I get real passionate about animals turned into dumb superheroes. Seriously, really passionate about backhouse absurdity over here. At our number one spot, we've got another super animal who is also dumb as f. Meet Super Pup, the 1958 version of Super Pup, that is. This is an unaired pilot, thank God, that was meant to capitalize on the success of the Adventures of Superman series. While Crypto the Superdog makes many appearances in the comics as Superman's canine buddy, do not get the two mixed up. Super Pup is quite different and is technically a dog version of the Man of Steel. And it's particularly dumb, cringy at times, and featured a bunch of little people in costumes playing all of the dogs in what can only be described as pure nightmare fuel. Alright guys, so there you have it. Do you agree with the numbers on our list? Let us know in those comments below. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. I've been Kelly Pally for Top 10 Nerd, and I will catch you guys in the next one.